On this episode of DPV, we're checking out Derek's Shine Juice. Been uh, driving Grandpa's truck a little bit here and there. Uh, little short runs, we're not doing nothing out of town yet. Uh, but uh, she's made it back and forth to work a few times. Uh, we fixed up a couple leaks, but uh, see if we can get her a little prettier. I've already uh, kind of washed her down. And so um, we're gonna use um, Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice and see what that does. So um, when working with paint, most importantly, you want to start somewhere incognito, a little uh, out of the way. So uh, I decided to uh, start with the hood. And um, just to kind of see a little bit of variance here. How about I throw a little? Eh. Yeah. You know, close enough. Boom. Then we will pull the tape and we'll kind of see if we can compare the size of the hood. Not a ton of instructions online, so uh, yeah, it came with these uh, t-shirt rags, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna apply it liberally to the t-shirt rag, and kind of wipe it in. It did come with two rags, and I got a multicolored truck, and so I'm gonna think I'm gonna use uh, one rag for the white, and one rag for the red. Ooh, and that is absorbing up the stuff. It is. It is going to be hard to tell on the camera, but you, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I think I can because I can see it on the screen, but it is like, it's doing something. I think this says it should do this truck like four times. So, okay. Pay attention how much you're using. And maybe the first time it uses, I'm going to guess the first time it uses it a lot more because... I mean, and because I don't know if this paint's ever been conditioned, it, you can really easily tell what area you're working. I'm starting to too much. I mean, yeah, I can tell a difference. I don't know if you can tell it on camera and it's on the white, it's gonna be harder. So it might, when I get to the red, I'll do another, oh, right here, this will be a good test of the two. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do another check. I think it'll look a lot better on the red. This side's been all repainted and so you, you can really see where it's been repainted. So I don't know if it'll, tell as easily on this side. I might be able to get, I'll be able to get a good spot right there to see the difference, so. That, you can tell a difference. This is gonna look like a new truck. This is gonna be cool. I always thought it was weird there wasn't a trim piece that went around. Oh yeah, I can see that it's a good idea to uh, have different rags for different colors.
says something about a white and I mean I like two-tone trucks but when they're with white in a color that's my favorite the, yeah oh guys bet start lawn service next door but oh but I mean even like blue and white on the Chevy square bodies that's or the orange and white on the square bodies I like the uh, green and white on the uh, den sides too oh. oh I missed a little spot right there easy to tell where you missed I mean it is, it's a big enough transformation that you just gotta get back and look <laughs> this stuff is red Alright, oh, well, I think I'm gonna do some more white. I wonder what it does to this rust. Seals rust. Oh, I wonder what's gonna. Ooh, I might end up, I might do the toolbox too. Yeah, I am gonna do the toolbox. Oh, but don't do it with the red one. Yeah, you definitely wanna use. On your two-tone trucks, you definitely want to use two different rags. This is my red rag for sure. I think I need to shine juice this thing next. She needs a bath. Oh yeah, the paint's gone up there. This probably should get like a proper clear coat sealant on it. At least just the roof panel. That wouldn't look horrible. That'd look good, I think. Uh, it really sucks it up. So yeah, this first, its first usage might be, it might not go as far your first time. So it says it does your pickup four times. So it doesn't do, I'm gonna guess that it doesn't do four pickups. Yeah, and it goes on a lot better the thicker you put it on. It likes to go on. Oh yeah, easy to tell what you miss. I always thought there should be a, have been a piece of trim right there. Just because the only place in the truck the the colors don't touch. It's weird these pieces. You can find a buddy derby in one of these and snag some trim, see if I can get some of it back. I just put a lot on there. I didn't think I did throw it yet. That's why we'll just thicken that out right there. Thicken that out. Do you many days I, s I sat right here getting hauled up the Stoughton Creek to float down? And Grandpa would drive down to a stone park and wait for us. Pick us up. We'd all sit in the bed of the truck. He'd take us up. <sighs> the good old days. Hey, bud. Yeah. What do you think of the the, the truck? Wait, did you paint it? No. What is it? It's called Shine Juice. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? You throwing some pictures? Mm -hmm. How you it doing? looks really shiny. Yeah, it does. Well, I mean, kind of in the name, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it now. But what even is this thing? What, the bottle? Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh. You just put it on your rag, and then you just wipe it on. I'd have you help me, but I don't really know what's in this chemical. And I'm pretty sure it should be one of those. Hey, Dad. Uh-huh. I wish it got rid of like all the like, like all those like spots. The spots? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the spots are where the paint's gone. I need to get up in the bed to do the rest of the roof. Um, do I need any more stuff on here? I probably do.
Did you do this right here? I have not done, I've only done half the white on the hood. I did a little bit over here. But the white, it doesn't do as much to the white as it does the, uh, red? the red. I mean, the floor's gone, but it's dirty. I get put like a Glomo in here. Back. What? I could put like a Glomo in the back. Oh yeah, you could use this for a lawnmower and truck. And like 50 pounds of wood. And 50 pounds of wood. Well, you could probably hold a quarter wood in here, buddy. Huh? You could put a quarter wood in here. A cord? That's how you like sell firewood. Yeah. It's like four foot by four foot by eight foot, I think. Not sure though. I'm pretty sure. What things? Those? Oh, that's for, uh, see that green thing right there? That's a fifth wheel hitch. It goes right there. Grandpa used this to haul a horse trailer. A horse trailer? Well, yeah, but a cattle trailer. Oh, you the Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. If it is, if it is rusty, it takes it, it drinks it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. What? Whoa, almost spilled. I think this is another spot. It's going to take a lot. I mean, it works good on the trim too, I guess. Wash a truck, park under a tree. Kind of doles out the white too. Kind of, kind of like it. I've used about that much, and so yeah, I think you really can do your truck four times. I didn't do anything inside the bed. I did a little bit on the toolbox. I might come back and do a little more of that, but I need to get a different rag for that and actually wash it first. But yeah, I think it turned out really nice. It's it's shiny now. Mhm. Mm what do you think, Zeke? Good. Good. So yeah, shine juice. Pick your up, pick yourself up some. It's uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good results. So um, we got merch. We got hats. We got shirts. We got sweatshirts. We got we got all the YouTube merch. It's down below. Um, pick yourself some shine juice up at uh, Vice Grip Garage. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll wreck it, rinse it, repeat. Until next time. See ya. If we and if you guys hit and if, if we hit five thousand subscribers. Uh, I'll ride on top of a car. No. Yes, I will. <laughs>